Good morning, Warriors. This is Vigor Warriors 2, and back with another uh, episode of the Morning Retention Talk. Hope all the Vigor Warriors out there are doing well. And I always uh, put you guys ahead of me. I'm just kind of the person who's providing some information, and hopefully some experiences that I've had to kind of help you a little bit uh, in understanding or even make decisions that you might want to uh, to make in the future about this retention and, and things like that. So hope all is well. This is March 4th, uh, 2022. So hopefully you guys will have a great this day today and have a great weekend. I'll try to do one over the weekend if I get a chance. I'm not always sure that I always get a chance to. Uh, things are kind of busy right now, but hopefully we'll get a chance to do one. I want to do one on the Fountain of Youth. I think that's important to kind of focus on and go back to that a little bit and kind of talk about that too. So uh, first of all, please go ahead and subscribe, comment, like. It's always appreciated. I get a lot of the comments and I try to answer as many questions as I can. And I'm trying to kind of get the information out. A lot of times you guys bring up some good issues like things like edging and things like uh, relationships and, and all the other types of things that we talk about when it comes to the temptations and addictions and things like that, that it's not an easy road that we take. And this is why we're only the one or two percent people in the world. So it's not something that is easy to do. And it took me 45 years or so to be able to get to the point now that I can get to 160 some days, 159 days of monk mode. And I think it's 400 and uh, I'm trying to think 30, 630 some days of uh, no fab. So we're getting there. We're moving along. You know, my goal is to try to get 12 years. So this is long time I got left to go, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. And uh, little by little, we're going to try to to make it as long as we can. Because I, I see a lot of the benefits in this. And I just continue to marvel at how my life has changed a lot. Even financially now, things are getting much better again. And uh, it's really kind of a case of, I just know, focusing on my goals. Instead of focusing on this other stuff that used to be, you know, stuff was crap stuff that I used to focus on. Now that I look at it that way. It wasn't at the time, obviously. But I tend to kind of look at that as being a waste of time because it really didn't solve anything. It didn't really kind of do anything for me. And it was kind of a case of, uh, you know, just kind of wasting my time and energy. So uh, first, a shout out to uh, Alvin. Keep going, Alvin. Alvin made a nice comment about how he's, he keeps going and keeps strong. And I'd say, keep going, Alvin. Keep going, my friend. Every day is a new day to a wise man. And you're going to keep working at this and getting better and better, as we all are. And we're all at the point to kind of make things that uh, make things strong, make things that become better and efficient for you as time goes on. And this, I think, is a very key point to making yourself more successful as time goes on and certainly the best you can become. And so I think this is a crucial type of thing to, to kind of look at. So, um, I hope, hope you guys are doing well, Elvin. I hope you keep more, move, moving on things, keep working on things, keep going and never stop. And I think it's important for us to realize this lesson that we have to keep going. And even if we make a mistake and we happen to relapse or we go back and into some bad habits, always remember what you can do is you can go ahead and focus on what really your purpose is and what your goals are and how to get back on track with those things. And that's important. Uh, one of the things that I noticed the um, other day, I was watching a video talking about the benefits of um, cold showers. And again, I may end up doing another one on that one. But again, I'm taking cold showers every morning. And in some mornings, it's like ice cubes fall on top of me. It is freaking cold. There's no doubt about that. But they also talk about the fact that it really creates a lot of red blood cells that go to your system and it allows you to fight off a lot of diseases because it talks about the fact that the body in a natural state is used to the cold. And if you're used to the cold, then getting into the shower should not be a problem. A lot of times what ends up happening is people tend to do too many hot showers and they drain their body dry, almost like we're talking about in losing energy here, and you make yourself weak and susceptible. And again, the whole key, my friends, is to make yourself strong. Don't make yourself weak by doing things that you can really kind of hurt you in the long run. So this is an important type of thing to focus on. And I think as we talk about this morning talk, it's really crucial to realize that you want to 
keep looking at doing things that are gonna benefit you and make you stronger so you can help other people, right? And you can help other situations. And so this is why it's crucial to be able to look at things a little differently than maybe before. And once again, this is a whole lifestyle type of change. And you're gonna be perfect? No, of course, we're never gonna be perfect. But we can try to keep going, keep working hard, keep trying to accomplish types of things and work in trying to uh, develop the things that we need to do to keep growing and becoming stronger and stronger. And so cold showers is something I highly recommend. I do also exercising in the morning as well. I think those type of things make a big difference as well. I think getting into uh, shape and keep working out. One of the benefits that I think you have when you go ahead and uh, do a lot of the workouts is really kind of building that muscle. And even at my age, at 60, you're able to kind of build that muscle and become stronger as time goes on. And as you do that, you also then realize that, okay, you know, I have this strength. I can now capitalize this and grow. And one of the biggest benefits that I've seen to a lot of this is the fact that you're able to learn discipline. You learn focus, you learn discipline. Like last night when I was sleeping, I ended up having certain types of dreams and I was able to shift back right away in my mind to my major goals, my focuses. And that's to, to make money, to have a spiritual relationship with my creator and to, um, to create a, uh, a strong body that I can actually use and be healthy with. And so those are the things I focus on at night before I go to bed. And so it always allows me then, my subconscious, to kind of work with that. And so I sometimes when you do go ahead and have those type of, um, you know, uh, those type of things in your life, and, and you have temptations sometimes, and you have different things, your thoughts go a different way, and Satan is always around, you know, you're able to control those things and you're back on rhythm. And as we talked about before, Satan is always present. And as, as I mentioned yesterday, one of the biggest things about the devil is that he, he realizes a lot of people don't believe in the devil. So they have no reason to believe that he's going to come in and tempt you and those type of things. And so this is why all of a sudden out of the blue, something's going to happen. And now you get reminded of this. And that's something that's really important. So I'm, gonna do, I'm doing a short one here. I want you guys to uh, have a great weekend, a great day, and uh, continue to battle on. Elvin, keep going, my friend. And have a wonderful day. And guys, God bless you. And we'll talk again very soon. Battle on.